dear friends once again jude from the holy land today i am with dormishian abi what is this dormishian abi you may think dormi dormire in italian you know to sleep so this is all about the mother mary where mary fell into deep sleep you know the according to tradition mother mary didn't you know didn't live above 50 years 50 years around 50 years old she her chapter was closed so to say she was taken into heaven so this chapel is dedicated to her so there are so many thing to say about this chapel this is one of the chapel it's very different from other chapels around the place in jerusalem all the chapels in jerusalem you will see rectangle shape a different shape but this chapel is round shape so that shows this is very important one thing is traditionally it is important because of mother mary second thing is important the architect of this, this chapel really this chapel must visit chapel and the second thing i would like to go say about something about history what is this all about how this chapel came actually speaking this chapel is belong to benedict time after saying this how they got this is another history but i would like to say this place actually belong to the german kaiser william the second when he came his historical visit means he did a pilgrimage to jerusalem in 18 1889 so he this place was gifted to him by sultan sultan mean he that time he was in turkey so he to honor to honor him is visit he has given this place to him so he build up this beautiful chapel so now come to the description of the chapel actually it is built like in 1917 around that time it has been built and completed but then you know before this actually i am speaking about a little bit early you know like we like um, so to say is the reason like 1917 means compared to 2000 in history it is very recent but then actually speaking it is under byzantine period 4th century there was a chapel by byzantines because when you enter into the chapel you will see the mosaic arts inside because that shows it's byzantine and adding to that you know other things like surrounded by this area is with uh, tombs graveyard and this is located in the top of the zion mount zion so when you stay outside and look at you will see the two tower so one tower you will see top of the tower the sign of the cock according to you know the tradition goes and the bible says in the mark says about how the cock crows when peter denies jesus one of the symbols second thing is you will see that first the chapel itself is at a four tower four tower and the roof is a wooden uh, wooden roof with a beam wooden roof with a beam so let us now enter into the chapel after seeing this so when you enter you will first see the mother mary holding a jesus so jesus with the open bible it is written i am the light of the world so after saying this what i would like to focus on there are six places like six symbolic chapels like every chapel has got its significant event because this chapel is kind of you know from the prophet to apostles prophet to apostles you can relate and you can see around so they have done in a way that it gives kind of holiness kind of history kind of a tradition as i said there are seven symbolical chapel i would like to mention what are these chapels what these chapels stand for the first you will see saint benedictine oh his picture and his statue over there second chapel is mary holding an infant jesus that shows she is greeting the pilgrim who enters the church then you will see another one is a family tree family tree means jesus family tree another one is mary holding and surround her various bishops then you will have john the baptist at the river jordan then another one is saint boniface with two other saints then three uh, then you will see after these three six chapels i have already mentioned after this when you come to the center of the chapel in the down you will see three interlocated circles i mean olympic circle you know 1 2 3 that circle every circle it is written holy 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 so this is then you will see now i am coming to the very important this what i said so far is about the chapel and how is it decorated how the history went about but then now i am coming to the main thing is about mother mary so what when the center if you see the mary script is there in the crypt mother mary statue the life 
you know life uh, size statue in the statue you the, how it is made about the body of the statue is made of the the cherry wood and the face and the hand are carved out of ivory so this statue that there are a lot of beliefs in it you know you will see apocryphal writing speaking about the assumption as well as we know the the pope the pius the 12th 12th in 1950 accepted as a dogma is assumption of mother mary then you will see when i just i sold about how the mother mary statue so according to you know the eastern tradition they celebrate the august 15 they celebrate when you enter into the church you will see the the special celebration special you know feast they offer dear friends according to the eastern orthodox tradition the august 15th the feast of assumption is being celebrated they celebrate and special day on that day that is a special day and you will see the different kind of celebration so adding to that if you see the opposite to the statue of mother mary the laying statue of mother mary you will see you will see the jesus with six important figures means all six women he is accepting receiving mother mary with a body at these women from the old testament old testament eve maryam the sister of moses jael judith ruth and esther when you go back to the bible you will see how significant these women are so it is depicted in a way that how jesus with other all six important figures in the bible accepting mother mary receiving mother mary with her body and soul and heart my dear friend saying this apart from the tradition apart from all the historical fact apart from the construction and the building what struck me most is the sultan from turkey he has given we all know sultan is a muslim king and he has given this property to the german king william the second to build a church for mother mary it's a inspiring fact and interesting fact so we always see the negative side of it but when you go to the history and really read the history and understand the history we can see marvelous things happen in its right time so thank you for listening to me god bless you all so this brings us to the end of yet another episode of the narrative do like and share the video and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to the channel and yes if you have any comments do feel free to write them in the comment section